a letter to myself 10 years ago. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You're a fool. An <laughs> ignorant fool. No, really, you're a stupid, ignorant, racist fool. Oh, you don't know you're racist. It'll be a few years before you can wrap your head around the concept of implicit bias. But you're raised to be colorblind, can't see past your privilege. Generation thinks the X stands for Malcolm. Thinks itself brave when it bottles the rain for a few hours in protest and yet scatters when the skies grow dark like when surrounded by black skin. I don't claim to be a revolutionary. Reject labels like activist because to try on such terms would be discredit to the men and women who wear them like flesh. I am offering my words because they are the bare minimum of what I can do, and I know that is something you can relate to. You see, the problem with your, I mean, our generation is that we thought the war had been won, marveled at our grandparents' commendations, told ourselves we don't see race, and erected museums to celebrate our colorblindness when the only thing we were blind to were the communities we bulldozed to build them. Had the audacity to suggest that not seeing a people who have largely felt invisible is a good thing. Each breath only meant to homogenize, not recognize. And even now we run victory laps for symbolic gestures as if we can wipe out racism with a white hero and a happy ending. But the second the film stops rolling, the audience goes home. This letter is not meant to personally attack or shame you. It is an acknowledgement that I, too, am part of the problem. Each day I learn from my missteps, and I'm merely trying to save you from making the same. Sometimes our only job is to listen. But you're super sensitive, overly defensive, porcelain white. Devil's advocate mindset is the reason the term white fragility exists. Your whiteness isn't under attack. What your whiteness represents is under attack. This is about inequity, not equality. For 400 plus years, black Americans have only asked for a level playing field. In all the professional sports, Michael Jordan was the only black majority owner, and there are actual people saying, but what about us? If you take the time to step out from behind your TV and see what the world looks like without a white rose-colored LCD, you'll see ignorance and irony like building a wall to prevent people from trespassing on stolen land. And I realized that as a white male, this must be a tough pill to swallow and difficult to understand. But for once in your life, it's not about you.